Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make a contact sheet using Adobe Bridge and Adobe Photoshop. So the first thing you're going to want to do, open up Adobe Bridge and find the images that you want to add to a contact sheet. Now in this case, um, we've got our images here in a folder. I've got this contact sheet demo folder over here and I have all of my images that I want to put into this contact sheet. In this case, there are 32 items if we look down here on the bottom left. And when we run our contact sheet, we should have a two page contact sheet. So what I'm gonna do is select those images. Now I can select them with my mouse like that, but likely you're gonna have more photos than you can easily select with a mouse. So what I would do is go up here to edit and then select all. Now in this case, the shortcut key is Command A to select all on a Mac. Anytime I say Command, I mean Control on a PC. So this would be, it should say Control A on a PC under the select all here. So selecting all the images in this folder. Then I go to Tools, Photoshop, Contact Sheet 2. And I'm gonna run this contact sheet. Now here you can see that the source images, it says there are 32 files selected from Bridge, that's good. And if you're in Massasoit or Endicott, either of my classes at Massasoit or Endicott, I would like you to plug in these numbers. Although, if you're using contact sheets for yourself, uh, you can create kind of any document size and you can create any pattern of images using the thumbnails. But for us, what I wanna see is eight and a half by 11, uh, for the width and height, 300 pixels per inch. Uh, the color profile sRGB is fine. We want to flatten all of the layers, RGB color in 8 bits. So the standard that I have here, um, it differs from what the uh, standard for um, Photoshop. I think the standard for Photoshop starts at 8 by 10. Let's change that to 8.5 by 11 for that standard page size. Then we're going to go ahead and place across first, use auto spacing, four columns, five rows, rotate for best fit. Now, using the file name as caption, uh, depend, <clears throat> depending on what you are using your contact sheet for, you may want to add a caption to each image, in which case you would check that and choose your font. Um, in this case, I am generally interested in a contact sheet that doesn't have file names. And uh, hopefully that won't come around to bite us in the butt later on. Um, but for the most part, the way that I am reviewing contact sheets, typically I don't need to see those file names and it's a little bit neater. There's a little bit slightly, slightly larger image size by not including that. So that's what I'm gonna recommend for now. If you uh, include um, a file name for yourself, for your own contact sheets, that's great. I'm asking for them without. Click OK, it's gonna run this contact sheet action. And what it's gonna do is take all 32 images and place them. Sometimes that first time it gives us a hard time and it tells us Select image to process. I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to go back to bridge and I'm just going to run it again. This is something I've noticed happening on my version of Photoshop. Everything is the same. I'm going to click OK. And hopefully it'll run the second time. Here we go. So I have noticed that uh, sometimes you just have to hit cancel, go back and run it again um, if that happens um, to you. So what it's going to do is going to take uh, each of these 32 images and place them into an 8.5 by 11 page and it's going to do four across five down for a total of 20 images per page and in this case it's going to create two pages you'll see here contact sheet one in a tab and then contact sheet two in a tab when it's done and then i'm going to export it using a special uh, export function in photoshop to create a single multi-page pdf document so you can see here i've got my first page all right 20 images, and then my second page here, four across and three down for an additional 12. 20 plus 12 is 32, so I know I've got all of my images here. Alrighty, we are ready to rock, so let's go ahead and export this. Once these have loaded, make sure that you do not have any other uh, images open in Photoshop when you run this action. When you're done, you're gonna go File, Automate, PDF Presentation. So here's how we export the contact sheet. PDF presentation 
and then add open files. You can see context sheet one, context, contact sheet two. And then everything should be set to the default, shouldn't be a problem. Um, here it says it, that uh, it's gonna include notes. There shouldn't be any notes from the source documents. Um, so uh, it shouldn't matter. However, to be sure that we have a nice clean exported document, multi-page contact sheet, you can unselect notes and then click save. And yet, an, yet again, we have another dialog box that pops up. So what we're gonna do is navigate. In this case, uh, I'm gonna save it to a folder that I've made called contact sheets. Uh, perhaps you wanna make a folder on your computer or hard drive that's only for contact sheets. Uh, perhaps you wanna make a, a folder for each project and then include the contact sheet from that project in that folder. That's up to you. How you keep yourself organized is your uh, kind of up to you. Right. Now, when we're naming our files, be sure to keep the period and then the extension anytime, whether it's a JPEG, a Photoshop file, or in this case, a PDF. What we're gonna do is name it. Generally, what I wanna see is your name and the a project, okay? Um, and typically I include underscores instead of spaces, although that tends to be not an issue anymore. It used to be an issue before um, uh, technology advanced to the point where it can handle spaces and file names, but um, I've never had a problem with an underscore and I have seen problems where files have had problems with spaces. It's been probably over a decade since that's been the case, but uh, in any case, I like to keep things as uh, as solid as possible and, and, and no question with the underscores there. So I'm gonna uh, keep underscores in my file name. Uh, your name, the assignment name. So in this case, this is a like a contact sheet demo, all right? But whatever the project that we're working on that you're including, and then maybe the date. So in this case, uh, it is the 5th of February, 2, 5, 2021. Um, and maybe dashes or underscores here for these. Um, so name, project, date, and then making sure to keep that .pdf at the end. Make sure you save it in the right place and then save. And it's gonna ask me one more time to save this thing. The only thing I would recommend here under options, if this is checked, preserve Photoshop editing capabilities, I would uncheck it. That's just gonna make your file unnecessarily big. Otherwise, the defaults are good and we are good to go. So you click Save PDF. It doesn't close these individual pages. So you can go up here and click X. It says, do you wanna save it? And we just exported it as, as a PDF. So I would say, do not save, close it, do not save. Now, if you wanted to check and make sure that everything looks good, you can go back to Bridge here and find that folder. In this case, it's the contact sheets. And you can see here that I've got a couple. This was the one I just made today. Jesse Stansfield CS Demo 25 2021.pdf. And you can see it's one of two pages. And if I click over here, I can manually uh, click over to the second page. So there you go. That's how you create a contact sheet in Adobe Bridge.